You guys are still there? After like two months, you'd all be gone by now, and I'd have like three s subscribers, you know, my cousin, my little brother, and my, my mom. <laughs> What's up, guys? I know it's been a very, very, very long time. I think it's been about maybe two months or so. Uh, you know, this year, I want to get a lot more value in my collection. I don't just want to pick up anything, but again, I am picking up the books that I'm a fan of, their cover, as I've always done, so that's going to continue to go, but I'm going to kind of minimize that a little bit and start getting the more valued books to make my collection of what it is to me, you know, worth more. Uh, I'm not going to sell these books anyway, but, you know, it's, it's good to know that you have a Babe Ruth in your collection or something, but that's not why I'm hitting you guys up today. The real reason I'm making this video is because, yeah buddy, yeah buddy, yeah buddy, this is mine. Ace Comic Con, got my signed books, not all of them, um, there is still the Entertainment Weekly Man of Steel, and there is also the Shazam number one, which I got graded, uh, I'm waiting for that, so I got this beautiful box, I also got this beautiful box which is here and this is the amazing spider-man i love those guys they all hooked me up sam you're the man thank you very much from cgc for helping me out again see you guys at the next one so we got two books no two boxes i need a knife right back we're ready before i open these up though if you guys recall, I did a video a couple of days before going to Ace Comic Con. Uh, I kind of gave like a rough estimation of what I thought they would come back as. So we're going to match them uh, right after each book to see if my estimations were on point, whether they were far off or maybe I just wishful thinking. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's get this going. Should I do the non-look thing or should I look at them? I could care less, man. I, they're they're going to be whatever they are, but I guess you guys like the suspense better. So, boom. Check out that bad boy. <laughs> 9.8, baby. 9.8. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right, all right. Uh, quick story to this. This is, I believe, Todd McFarlane's last Spider-Man comic, but the reason I got this book is because back when I was like 14, I went into my first comic book shop, I look up at the ceiling, and I told you guys the story in an old video, I look up at the ceiling, this poster is on the ceiling of the comic book, and I'm like, damn, dude, I didn't know Spider-Man was that strong, he could punch the Hulk, you know, through, through the ceiling or whatever, through the roof, and uh, really why I started collecting comic books was because of that poster. But dude, I bought this book on eBay. Uh, you know, it said it was near mint, MT, mint, whatever. Uh, you know, I was expecting a 9.6 or something, but my lord, a 9.8 off white to white pages. So not white to white, uh, because it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty old book, 1990. So, you know, it has a little bit of age in it, but my lord, this is so awesome. A 9.8 Amazing Spider-Man number 328 captured in history. This is awesome, man. All right, so now let's go to this clip and show you guys what I thought this book would come out as. This, I believe, is probably going to be a 9.0. Could be a little bit less than a 9.0. It is pretty old, but it's in great shape. A 9.0? I thought this was going to be a 9.0 or less. Yeah. Yeah, thank the Lord I was wrong. 9.8, guys. Box number two. All right, cool. So these books are these books are actually standing up. So I removed the top lid. I don't know how you guys do this. This uh, non-looking suspense thing. This is ridiculous. <laughs> What is that? Oh, yeah. 9.4. You know, I have to. Dude, listen, I'm grateful. I'm happy. I'm excited for all of this. Okay. I have two copies of this one. I think I grabbed the one that was a 9.4, 9.6 rather than a 9.8. Just take this out. Which is still awesome. Jason Fabok hooked it up right there. Uh, as you guys saw in the video, he was awesome as hell, man. Humble as hell. Awesome, dude. It's another Del Auto. 
So we got a 9.4 for Justice League versus Suicide Squad. White Pages, signed by Jason Fabok. Uh, maybe I'll get it signed by Del Otto one day in the future as well, but not disappointed, 9.4. Let's roll the film. Let's see what I thought this book was gonna come back as. This is a 9.6, 9.8, I believe, if my grading is accurate. 9.4, 9.6. Yeah, we got that one wrong. <laughs> so I thought it would be a 9.6, 9.8. Uh, came back as a 9.4, so only 0.2 behind. Pretty happy regardless, man. Thank you, Jason, very much. Let's go to the next book. I still don't know how you guys do this. Boom! You guys see it first. Enjoy. What is this? Oh, 9.2. <laughs> so... I already knew this book was going to come at a low rating, at a low score. Uh, Scott Snyder hooked it up, though, of course, signed by Scott Snyder right there. Signed by Mr. Snyder right there. Uh, 9.2. You know, it has some bends in the corners. I did get it pressed, but that wasn't enough. I wish I had it a higher grade, but I already knew this book was going to come in at a low grade anyway, so... Let's turn back the clock and see what I gave this one. You know, I'm not too sure, guys. This might be a 9.2, 9.4, I believe. It, 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 it might just be because the corners are in good shape. They're not perfect, but they're not beat up. So I'm a little bit conflicted. What did I say? I told you guys, 9.2, 9.4. The corners were in bad shape. I, have, I don't have my own system, but I kind of know what CGC looks for. We all know. And I kind of did my own evaluation and, you know, 9.2. I didn't expect much out of this book anyway, but still an awesome book. It's a great cover as well. Yeah, you know, 9.2, can't complain. Still happy. Still excited. Let's go to the next one. Bow. What is that, guys? Is it good? Please tell me it's above a 9.0. 9.6. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're back. Now we're back. We're, we're getting there. We're back. So, I remember... Mr. Scott Snyder signed it right there that says rock on. That's awesome, man. So uh, 9.6, Dark Knight's Metal. This is numero uno. I love the back, how it's the Snickers and Superman. And they give it to, <laughs> they give it to what's his name? Gorilla Grodd, yeah. And they have him like changing back to a human being. But I don't know if you guys ever seen this one. Have, did you see Green Lantern's little green color line right there that comes kind of flashes out of the ring. Dude, this is a nice cover. It's simple, but it's a nice cover. Uh, 9.6, signed by Mr. Scott Snyder again. Another cover art by Mr. Capullo. Uh, can't complain. This book, why did they give it a 9.6? It could be because of that corner there. I'm not too sure. Ah, right there, even though I got it pressed. So that's weird. Got a couple of spine ticks, even though I got it pressed. So that is a little weird, but 9.6, 9.8, you can't really complain. You know, that's, it's the look of the draw, man. It's what you get. Let's turn back time and see what I thought this was going to be. This is a 9.6, 9.8, I believe. Yeah, we called it, baby. We called it. 9.6, 9.8. These books were in good shape anyway, so it wasn't hard to predict them anyway and give a, a pretty accurate estimation. Really happy. Really happy. Doesn't matter. Why am I like I've just grabbed a book? <laughs> Boom. I hope there's an eight in there and I hope there's a nine. And I hope the, the nine comes first. Oh, the Greg Horn one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Greg, Mr. Horn, if you're watching, remember what you told me over there. You said both of them, and there's another one in there. Both of them are 9.8. You told me they were 9.8, Greg. 9.6. You owe me point two of something. I don't know what, but you owe me point two of something. <laughs> but, dude, I couldn't be prouder. Couldn't be happier. Yeah, this is a beautiful book, man. 9.6, Harley making it ring. 25th anniversary, Harley Quinn. Well, there's no estimation for this because I didn't know I was going to get this. I actually bought that at the convention, so we're not going to roll back the tape for this one. Boom. All I saw was yellow. You guys see it first. Bow, Wonder Woman, 9.6. Oh, by Mr. Scott Hanna, that's right. Wonder Woman, number 34, 
signed by Mr. Scott Hanna himself. Right there, remember I told you guys I wanted him to sign it right there? And maybe something right there. I showed you guys in the video, I was like, man, I hope he signs it right there to leave room for all of this. I told him the story, the man literally signed it before I even let him know where I wanted it. Well, she can't be contained. Wonder Woman cannot be contained. But 9.6, this is a very nice book. I love it. This is Wonder Woman, 700 issues. I'm so happy I got this signed by Mr. Hannah himself, of course. So I didn't give this one a grade, which was pretty, I don't know, I didn't even kind of miss that. So let's assume that I was going to say it was going to come back as a 9.6. Yeah, I think it was going to come back as a 9.6. Wonder Woman number... 34, 700 issues, signed by Scott Hannes. Wonder Woman. Boom. Oh, the other one. Oh, 9.6, okay. Man, why did they both come out as 9.6? Staples look good, no spine ticks, the back of the book is awesome. Harley Quinn, 25th anniversary special number one, of course, signed by Mr. Greg Horn again. This is the other book that I bought from him and had him sign. I, I, I gotta send you a message, Greg, because you owe me point four now. Beautiful book, though. Wow. I have Mylars for my CGC uh, books, which I will put them in later. Boom. Oh. All-Star Batman. 9.8, number one. Jock cover, of course, variant cover. Signed by Mr. Scott Snyder, of course, again. This is a good book. I'm so happy it came out as a 9.8. Wow, that's awesome, man. Solid jock cover. Let's see what the kid gave this book. This is a 9.6, 9.8 book, for sure. What did I say? 9.6, 9.8 book, for sure. Yeah, 9.8. Boom. Dark Knight Metal number one. This is the cartoon version that I love so much because it's, uh, it's Scott Snyder, of course, done, but it's a Greco Pulo uh, art. And they're ready to take over fighting the dragon. This is a nice variant. This is a Midtown Comics edition uh, one signed by Mr. Snyder right there. You know, there's a lot going on in the cover, so it's tough to kind of see a signature, but he did it in gold, which was pretty awesome. And so there it is, guys. Back, of course, Midtown Comics exclusive. Let's see what I gave this book. This is a pretty cool book. I like it. It's in very good shape. This is probably going to be between a 9.4, 9.6, I'm estimating. Pretty dead on. 9.4, 9.6. Came back as a 9.6, the latter, which is pretty awesome. I mean, I love this book. The colors are beautiful. I'm happy with a 9.6, guys. I am very much. Boom! Oh man, please don't let it be it. What is this? Paper. Alright guys, you're seeing it before me. Oh, okay, so it stood a 9.6. Okay. You know what? That's actually not that bad. So this is a book that I bought on eBay that was that is signed by Jim Lee. Uh, I know Scott Snyder was gonna be at A, so I bought it so I could so I could add Scott to this book. Well, first of all, the, the eBay seller that I bought this from, dude, I'm not going to call you out, man, but you did not ship this correctly at all. If you guys remember the video, there was like crack pieces of glass of the case inside the case. I really inspected before I even went and got it signed again because I, I it, there were some suspect scratches that I thought was on the book, but it wasn't. It was on the case. You know, I took a risk. I, it was already signed by Jim Lee. I added Scott Snyder's to it. Dude, I, I can't be, this isn't going to be a 9.8. It's never going to be a 9.8 unless some magical thing happened. The only thing that can happen is it can go down if I mishandle this when I try to get uh, Scott Williams' uh, signature on it. But who knows, but pretty happy, dude. 9.6, man, this is a very valuable book. I love it. This is Supes, of course. You got Jim Lee right there. Then you got Scott Snyder's right under. It's just a whole gold fest, dude. I don't know, maybe the silver pen would have worked better. I love this book, man. I'm so happy. In the back of the book. So, 9.6. I thought this was going to be a 9.8. We don't have to roll the tape back for this. I thought, hoping it would be a 9.8, but I'm very happy it didn't go down in gray point because, you know, it was handled by a couple of guys at CGC, handled by myself. With all the fiasco, you're afraid that one little bent is going to show up. Man, got a new case. 
Thank you, CGC. This is one of my prized collections because you guys all know I love Superman. So yeah, guys, that's the video. You know, sorry I've been away for so long. I still got two books coming in. I'm waiting for my Entertainment Weekly Man of Steel, Henry Cavill signature. And I'm also waiting for Shazam number one. So pretty much the whole CGC haul is over of the year for Ace Comic Con, but gonna start grinding again, getting back in it. I gotta go to Bulletproof. I haven't been to Bulletproof in a while. They have a lot of Del Autos I have not bought. I mean, dude, I, I am missing like 50 books that came out in the past like month and a half. So that's gonna be another huge haul video. As always, man, a couple more surprisingly like The Amazing Spider-Man. With that said and done, keep hunting, baby. Keep the faith, have hope. Hustle hard, guys. Go after what you love. I hope you find some good treasures out there. And I can't wait to check those videos out. To my new subscribers, thank you very much for the support. Thank you for watching the videos and for the comments as always. Don't forget to hit that like button, which is somewhere over there. And subscribe as well, man. I mean, I'm not that bad of a guy. You know, I think I'm all right. I think my books are okay. Peace, guys. See you later.